Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see how to install the Python and write the basic code. So from here, you can uh, learn the Python day by day, like how you can write the code and uh, what are the uh, and how the python runs all this stuff i am going to teach in detail uh, let's see as part of that first we are going to install the python and set up the environment for the regular practice how you can do that so first of all to install the python so we have to do use the pycharm so pycharm is an ide which is an integrated uh, code development um, uh, software where you can use this to develop the python code so i am going to install that first so pycharm so you just go to download community edition here so which is the free version you can download it here so what is the differences you can see that there are much differences but as of now as a learning uh, perspective we just require the community edition here so just community edition free for downloading and you can just say pycharm and go all the way down download this one so community edition we are going to download this one pycharm community edition download that so it is going to be a um, around 403 mb in size which is going to download and after that we are going to install that PyCharm one. Now you can see so the download is almost completed. It's saving the file. So now the file has been saved. You can say just open the file. So after that it, it will prompt for the installation. So just say yes. Now welcome to PyCharm community edition setup and click next so the version as this video is recording so i'm going to install 2023.1.3 version so which is the one the space requirement to install the software is 1.6 gb is required for that installation perspective so you should have at least 2 gb of free space in your hard drive you can install this community edition so say next and uh, create the desktop shortcut if you want okay so it would be easy for you to add update the path variable so this would be required uh, it would be automatically add that path so update the contest when the folder of the project is opened create the association any dot pa files will be opened with this uh, pie chart. click next and uh, the software is developed by jet brands and now click next so it will take some time to extract all the files and install the um, PyCharm community edition. Let's wait for some time to complete this action. So it's almost done. Um, the complete installation has been done it is asking for the reboot of the computer so i can reboot it later i want manually reboot and click finish so now uh, open go to your start menu and click on the pycharm addition so it will open the pycharm um, so do you want to import the settings okay so if you already have the previous settings you can import it otherwise you can just say do not import settings anything here let's say okay now it will just going to create the new one so this is the new interface first of all to use this one what we have to do so first we have to create the new project let's say i'm going to say new project here so here where you want to save your code or the project so either you can edit this one and put it on your any of your drive right so let's say i don't want to put it on my um, i drive instead i would like to put it on uh, here okay so let's say new folder my python proj so something like that 
so this is my new folder I just created where I want to uh, not in the C drive which is going to be in the high drive let's say my Python something like that okay so where is my this one my Python in the I drive I just created the custom path so here new environment always use the virtual one so that would be easy for you to switch between if, if you want if you have the multiple versions you can switch back to the uh, multiple uh, Python interpreter versions okay select always the latest version that would be uh, recommended option here right create main dot file with the default script so that is the default one say create now it will import the settings and create the environment so it will take a few minutes to update this settings and create the virtual python environment so it's asking me some permission say yes Now it launched the Python launcher and open the our PyCharm IDE. See that now it is creating your virtual environment. So now your environment is ready, almost ready. Now before running any code, so we have to install few modules on these packages on the Python. So those are mandatory for our uh, programming purpose so click on the main menu and file go to settings and click on the python project which is the python project you set up and click on python interpreter okay and click on plus and say numpy so this is the module click install okay it will take a few minutes to install and uh, complete that and the next one is pandas so this is the another package we are going to install it here and select that package say install package now so you can see that package numpy is successfully installed and pandas is trying to install now so once that is installed it will show the notification say that the pandas is installed successfully so you can see that here installing the package pandas you can see package pandas installed successfully so that is the two packages which required for our regular stuff now after that you have to do the one more setting is that here you can see that there is a configuration file which is main.py so whenever you want to execute anything or any new file you wanted to create then what you have to do so you have to select that or you have to set the path environment to execute that python file so otherwise if you want to select any files you wanted to execute that one what you have to do so you have to say select this one current file so that whatever the file you select when you play it here which means that execute that program so that will play the current selected file okay so that way it would be easy for you as a beginner otherwise you have to uh, manually set up the files and environment interpreter for that particular file all this stuff so no need to do that you can just select that one as a first program so maybe you wanted to write something like this like you wanted to print anything here so, so let's say print open close bracket and say Welcome to Tech ARKIT Python training. Okay, let's execute this line. Hit enter. Okay, now play here. You can see it is printed. Welcome Tech ARKIT to Python training. Welcome to Tech ARKIT Python training. So that's how you can print the program so if you want to save this one so what you can do 
press ctrl s it will save the file and if you want to create the new program file what you can do click on that your project name say new and say new python file so now provide any python file name here okay let's say um, operators dot py enter now you can see that operators dot py file has been created so in the next class we see what are those operators and how you can op operate them or make the program using those operators that's about this video thanks for watching stay tuned please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos and courses do share with your friends and family so they also learn along with us please follow us on social networking site uh, one is uh, facebook the facebook page name is uh, ed linux arkit uh, you can click on this button here and click like page so that you can follow us on facebook the next one is instagram uh, instagram name page name is arkit.co.in click on follow button to follow me and uh, Twitter if you have any questions on uh, subject line or if you have anything you can just tweet me at a ravikumar48 so I will reply you most on the tweet back for anything related if you want to latest articles on my website so here is my website details and email address details you can reach me over here